Well, inside and quite by design, it was a normal day here at Autism Rec, a center for students with special needs in South Philadelphia. But outside, staff and volunteers were very busy trying to erase a hateful act of vandalism. Earlier this week, someone spray painted the center's signs, disparaging the kids who so depend on the work they do there. Action News reporter Leland Pinder live there in South Philadelphia tonight. Leland, those who worked there made sure those kids did not see that sign today. Yeah, Brian, they had the kids come in through a different entrance right here behind me is where they would normally enter the daycare. And also here's the sign. You can see now it's been wiped clear and it's clean, but folks here are just shocked and also saddened by what happened. Off the bus and to autism wreck after school. This South Philadelphia nonprofit is a safe space specifically for autistic children. There is before and after school care, therapy, and various activities to build social and life skills. Tamika Hassan brings her son here every day. The majority of the time she's here before 7 o'clock in the morning. You can't find it um, no place and he's safe. But recently vandals violated that sense of security after hateful messages were scrawled on a banner outside. Once I saw the R word, that just like... It hurt my heart. My heart sunk and it was like, oh, wow. Executive Director Jamila Tucker Malero first noticed it Wednesday morning. She had kids use a different entrance that afternoon so they wouldn't see it. Why would somebody want to do that? That's horrible. That's cruel. And it's not right for you to, to use those type of words for these children. Police were here Thursday looking into what happened, but for now it's a mystery as to who did this and why. I'm not going to let this stop us. I mean, it did discourage me a little bit, but I'm not going to let it stop us. Yeah, she's going to keep on serving the kids and these families. And the executive director there told me there are no security cameras here outside their building. She wishes she could install those for that added layer of safety and security. But as a nonprofit, she says she just cannot afford that right now. Live in South Philadelphia, Leland Pinder, Channel 6 Action News. Now she's discouraged but undeterred and doing great things for those kids. Leland, thank you.